Football fans, and welcome to Aces Field, Aces Stadium, as we are getting ready for high school football on a Friday night as we kick off the 2017 football regular season here on Hicksville Community Television. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy calling the action for you tonight here from the press box at Aces Stadium. Amy Murphy with us tonight uh, running the camera. We want to thank her for taking some time out of her schedule to help us out with the camera chores. Uh, Kate, who's our usual camera person, got stuck in a meeting tonight. Those sort of things happen when you get into college sometimes. The Aces take the field as we're just a couple of minutes away from getting things started in tonight's action. Uh, the Aces opening at home this year and entertaining the Blue Streaks of Archbold. And, uh, of course, uh, this has been a traditional opener. First three games of the season, non-conference. And once again this year, the Aces will uh, face off against uh, Archbold tonight. They'll travel to Crestview next Friday, and then they'll be back home to entertain Eden in a couple of weeks from tonight before we get into the GMC schedule. And uh, we'll see what happens, of course. Uh, Archbold, a bigger school, and uh, their team is, uh, is a larger size team as well, both in numbers of players, and uh, they've got some pretty good size on them. A lot of seniors on the Blue Streak squad. I think uh, we were counting earlier, there's uh, 12, 14, uh, there's a lot of seniors uh, that are on the roster for the Blue Streaks. The Aces, of course, a bit of a rebuilding year, but they've got some good talent that has come back and uh, will be taking the field for them again, including, of course, returning quarterback Jake Greer, Logan Sanderson back with them, Mason Van Atta, and uh, Peyton Tunis, all seniors this year, as is uh, Eric Ethan Wilhelm, rather, and uh, Gabe Contreras, Luke Yoder, and uh, Nathan Aaron will be out there tonight as well with Daniel Monsivias and Steve Gardner. So a fair number of seniors on the Aces squad. Of course, uh, Lucas Smith, the uh, returning coach of the Hicksville Aces. And uh, again, we're looking forward. To, this is always a, kind of a battle. Usually cards tip in favor of the blue streaks, but the Aces have managed to snatch a win once or twice over the last few years. And as I was uh, talking with uh, Amy before the game, interestingly, uh, the, uh, the prognosticators for the Defiance Crescent News when they made their weekly picks uh, for tonight's game. Actually, the majority of them, if I remember correctly, picked the Aces to win over the Blue Streaks tonight. So, and the Aces have got the kind of a reputation. This is a game that's always hard fought. And uh, so we will see how, how things go when they get things going. Hey, we also want to uh, say a big thank you as we uh, get ready to get the season started once again to the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford once again are uh, full ride underwriting supporters of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts for the 2017-18 school year here on Hicksville Community Television. We'll be talking about uh, them and mentioning them throughout the evening. But we want to uh, start off the broadcast by thanking them so very much again for their continued support of our Aces Sports broadcast here on Hicks TV. Getting ready to get things underway. The Aces teeing it up. They'll be kicking off to the streaks to get things started. Got 12 minutes on the scoreboard, and we are ready to go. What a beautiful night. It's, it's hard to believe that it's uh, this late in August. Usually these are the dog days of summer, and we've got some pretty uh, oppressive conditions, but... Very, very cool. Matter of fact, uh, you're anticipating temperatures down in the low 60s by the end of the game tonight. Caught on a single hop and off to the races. Number 11 for Archbold, that's Zach Roca. Roca takes the ball out to about the 41-yard line, and that's where the streaks will set up shop. First and 10. So I'm actually going to give him forward progress how close to the 42. It's 
snap back to their quarterback, number 10, and a quick handoff up the middle and across the 45-yard line out to about the 48. Gabe Peterson is their senior quarterback uh, for the streaks. Played a pretty good game last year. So they pick up six on their first carry. And we'll get ready to get back in action. Peterson will work out of the shotgun. Again, a pitch out to uh, number 25, Devin Gurdum. And Gurdum trots over into Hicksville territory and is driven out of bounds at the Aces 42-yard line, excuse me, 43-yard line for a first down for the Blue Streaks. Peterson puts a man in motion, takes a snap. He's going to hang on to the ball himself this time. Powers down to about the 35-yard line, and that's where the Aces finally stop his forward progress. There goes the helicopter. If you hear helicopter buzzing by every now and then, uh, they've got helicopter rides over at the fairgrounds. This is, of course, Defiance County Fair Week. And so we anticipate the helicopter flying over every now and then, giving those helicopter rides. Second and five. For the streaks, and here's the snap, another handoff. And again, uh, number 25, Devin Gurdum. And Gurdum gets down to the 30 for a first down. Peterson again puts a man in motion, and again he'll hand it off to Gurdum. Gurdum gets some running room. He breaks free, heads towards the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Streaks. Devin Gurdum scampers in from 30 yards out, breaks a couple of tackles, and gets into the end zone and puts Archbold on top, 6 to nothing early. With 9.56 left to go in this first quarter, the Aces have not been able to slow down the streaks on defense so far tonight. Going to go for the extra point. Their kicker is uh, number 18, who's not on the roster. Though I think that's Kaiden Bedsole. So Bedsole. Splits the uprights. And makes it a seven to nothing game. And the Aces will try to regroup here a little bit. And they're gonna get ready to go on deep on offense for the first time here tonight. As again, 7.56 left to go in quarter number one. And Archbold out to an early 7-0 lead over Hicksville. I want to say congratulations, too, to the uh, Aces varsity cheerleading squad. Had a good night over at the uh, Defiance County Fair Extreme Cheerleading Challenge. They finished second place in the varsity competition. Congratulations to them. Streaks teeing things up. Nick Rodriguez. Number eight. Puts his foot into it. Comes down. Caught. 
And that was Logan Sanderson returning the ball out to about 30, okay, the 25 yard line, excuse me. There the Aces will get started. They'll set it on the 26, forward progress. And that's where Hicksville will get it going. First and 10. Their first offensive stand of the 2017 season right here. Greer takes the snap, hands it off, and they hit him right away, and he's going to go down and uh, probably lost a yard or two. Ball carried by Langham. He said Braden loses a yard. That'll make it second and 11. Greer wearing number 11, and Langham is number 8 out there. Peyton Tunis, of course, out wide, wearing number 20. Pitch back to uh, Comiso. Comiso tries to reverse his field and nothing doing, and he's going to redrop for another loss. So two plays, and uh, the Aces are moving in the wrong direction. Comiso loses another yard. That'll make it third and about 12. Greer directing traffic, takes a snap, drops back, looks downfield, Greer's in trouble. He uh, dives forward, a flag is thrown right there in the middle of the scrum, the scrum there, so we'll wait and see what the word is from the officials. And uh, it'll be right now fourth down, but we'll again wait and see what the penalty indication is, and it's going to be a hold against the Aces. So that'll just be declined by the streaks, and here comes the punting team for Hicksville. Greer's going to do the punting. So Jake drops, ba drops back. And Rodriguez is back deep for the blue streaks. Makes the grab at the 42-yard line. Rodriguez across midfield. Rodriguez cuts back up. And they finally get him along the sidelines. They knock him out of bounds at about the 37, 38 yard line of the Aces. So a good return and Archbold's gonna set up uh, this offensive stanza and with excellent field position. And they were just at a, now they're gonna be at the uh, 37, 38 yard line. So first and 10 of the 38 yard line. And when they were at the 30 yard line, they ran it in for a touchdown. Peterson, again a handoff to number 25, Gurdum. Gurdum this time, they come up and they put the stop on him after he only gains a couple. That'll be a gain of two to make it second and eight. Dan's starting to fill up here tonight. I said it's a beautiful night for football. Might want to bring the sweatshirt uh, or the hoodie tonight. A little bit, going to be a little bit cool as we get into the second half. And again, a nice stop by the Aces. Uh, they bring him down at about the 35-yard line. And we're going to give him forward progress to just inside of the 35-yard line. That'll make it third and a long six, make it third and seven. Gabe Peterson working out of the shotgun. Drops back, rolls out, puts the ball in the air, overthrows his receiver, but there's gonna be a flag. And I think that That's going to be against Hicksville. That was Langham over there, number eight. Or 
to the Langham or Sanderson over there. And with the pass interference call, that'll move the move the chains for Archbold. Costly penalty for the Aces. They move the ball down to the 19-yard line, first and 10. Archbold. Streaks put a man in motion. Handoff. And they go inside the 15-yard line. I think they handed that one off to Hogreef, number seven. Oh, should be no Rodriguez, number eight, with the carry. Check that. 6.30 left in the first quarter. And again, blue streaks threatening Peterson. Again, has a shift. Peterson hangs on to the ball. He slips in the backfield, and they bring him down. And there's a flag on the field. That's in the Aces' backfield. They threw that one down around the five-yard line. Talking things over. And here comes, and that's going to be a slide line in front. Okay. So that'll move them back. So that backs them up 15 on the technical. Use a basketball term there. So back to the 29 yard line where it'll be now third and about, well, let's see, third and about 20. Yep. So he says catch a break there and see if they can hold them and bring them into a fourth down situation, though they may be willing to go for it this close to this end zone. Peterson again takes a snap, drops back, puts the ball in the air, got a man open, it's caught and brought down at about the 15-yard line. Catch made by uh, Gurdum, number 25. And Devin Gratt makes the grab and... Gets down to near the 15-yard line. Looks like they're going to mark him at the 16. That'll bring up a fourth and eight. And obviously the streak's going for it this deep in Aces territory. And we're going to have a timeout on the field. And the streaks are going to call the first timeout of the night. 5-16 to go here in the opening quarter. I think they were seeing if they could maybe get the Aces to jump and maybe get an easy five that way, but didn't happen. So rather than run the play, they want to talk about it first. Again, deep in Aces territory, so there's not much to lose if they, even if they lose a couple of yards, it's still almost as good as a punt because the Aces will still be taking over. Even if they take over on downs, odds are they're going to be inside their own 20. So we'll see what kind of a play these streaks put together. And, of course, the Aces going over things with their defensive coaches uh, so far. Uh, the Aces have not been able to stop the offensive machine of the Blue Streaks. They did, they've been doing better this, this particular series than they did in the first one, but still. And now they're going to go for the field goal, it looks like. Rodriguez back to kick. Snap, ball's down, kick is up, and it looks good. And it is. So Rodriguez puts one in from 30-some yards out, and that makes it 10 nothing. streaks. 5.16 to go here in the first quarter. Aces are going to get the ball back and see if they can put something together offensively to try to get themselves back into this game. But I'm not complaining because... Last time we saw a field goal attempted on this field, the result was much, much different and much more painful for the young man who was trying to kick the ball. So, we'll knock on wood that we did not have a repeat of that. And again, we'll get ready for the Aces to receive the Archbold kickoff. 
See what they can put together offensively. Comiso back deep along with uh, Landon Turnbull. And Langham over on the far side. Kick, and it is a long one, and it's caught by Turnbull. Turnbull heads straight up field, shakes one, heads in to the open field, and gets down to about the 48-yard line before he's brought down. Number seven, Landon Turnbull, the freshman, scampers out to the 47-yard line. A nice return, and he gives the Aces some pretty good field position to open up this offensive series. go. Quarterback keeper for Greer. Greer, first down yardage as he dives inside the 45-yard line down to the streaks 43. Good enough for a first down. Another quick throw, caught, and brought down inside the 40 at about the 39. Sanderson making the grab. Takes a snap, drops back to throw. He's in some trouble, manages to unload it, and that's going to be off the turf, but that was mighty close. Gavin Grime, number 22. Thought that he might have had the pick, but it bounces off the turf as he dives for it, so incomplete pass, and the Aces dodge a bit of a bullet there. Greer was hearing those footsteps coming his way and unloaded the ball and threw it a little bit shy. Third and eight for the Aces. And Greer hangs on to it. He's not going to make it to the first down marker, but he'll get down to about the 36. Aces will be faced with a fourth and three. And here we go. Fourth and three for the Aces. Watch for the hard count. Streaks black drop a few back. Greer with the ball, nothing doing. Greer tried to dive forward, but there was nothing there. And he's brought down, and that'll end the Aces' offensive drive. They'll turn it over on downs, and the streaks will take over first and 10 on their own 36-yard line. 3.26 to go here in the opening quarter. Archbold leading the Aces by 10. And looking to see if they can add to that total. Peterson, quick hitter out to number 25, Gurdum. Gurdum gets to the, about the 40-yard line. So they're going to give him forward progress to the 41. That'll make it second and five. Peterson going to work out of the shotgun once again. Rodriguez, 
Rodriguez in motion. Hand off to him. Nick Rodriguez. First down yardage to midfield. He'll take it down to into Aces territory to the 49-yard line. Another first down for the Archbold Blue Streaks. At least they're keeping it on the ground and keeping that clock rolling. And that's putting pressure on the Aces. Peterson, another quick handoff. That to Gomez, number 21. Gomez will get him about three. Bring up second down. As we go under two minutes to play here in this opening quarter, opening night of the 2017 varsity football season here on Hicks TV. Glad to have you with us. Man in motion for the streaks. Peterson hangs on to the ball himself. Spin move, and he gets taken down. Number 26 for the Aces, Zach Brickle gets him. No gain. Third and seven. Break huddle, and here we go. Gabe Peterson takes the snap, drops back, looking downfield, changes his mind, tucks it under, and takes off. Peterson diving forward. He sticks the ball out as far as he can and should have gotten the first down as he dives across the 40-yard line to the 39. And his... Outstretched hand with the ball made the difference. That's going to move the chains and get the streaks a fresh set of downs. So a good play by their quarterback, Gabe Peterson, the 6'2 senior. Hand off and not sure what that was. <laughs> I don't know if he just lost his footing. Gurdum just came up to the line of scrimmage and took a knee, basically. He lost a half a yard. Now he'll make it second down and 11. And we'll see if they get another playoff here before the quarter comes to an end. Ten seconds and the clock running. Peterson tries to get him to jump, and that's the end of the first quarter. The Aces don't go into the neutral zone, and the time expires before they snap the ball, and that's the end of the first quarter, and that one goes to Archbold, no doubt about it. The streaks end the first 12 minutes on top of the Aces, shutting out Hicksville 10 to nothing. our first quarter score. Well, we'll get ready to switch uh, ends of the field and get the second quarter of action underway here on this beautiful Friday night. And while we're between quarters, it'll give us a chance to say another big thank you, first of many this school year, to our football broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio. Once again for this school year, Jim Schmidt has stepped up and is lending his underwriting support, both of his dealerships, uh, to all of our Aces sports broadcasts, not just football, but uh, also uh, volleyball, and of course later in the year we'll have basketball and wrestling and who knows what other sports coverage we'll manage to work in, and not just at the varsity level as well. We try to bring you coverage of some of the junior high and junior varsity level sports as well. And again, it's all made possible thanks to our good friends at Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford. Proud to have them as our underwriters once again. Remember, whenever you see Aces Sports coverage on Hicks TV, it's brought to you through the courtesy and the generous underwriting support of Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford. Find them online at jimschmidtauto.com, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Second quarter action, Peterson fakes the pitch, hangs on to the ball himself. He's being chased by, well, they're going to have a 
flag. I don't know if that was a hand to the face. Gabe Contreras was after him. And they were both trying to stiff arm each other. We got the couple of flags thrown. So we'll see what the ruling is. Like I said, I couldn't tell whether Contreras got, a, got the face mask or not. And a bit of a conference going on on talking with the Archbold coach. It's uh, David Dominique, the head coach of the Blue Streaks. Okay, so we're going to have offsetting face mask calls. So evidently, Contreras got a hold of uh, Peterson's face mask and vice versa. So they're going to offset. And that means they'll replay second down. So hands to the face, offset on both sides. And it stays second and 11 for the Blue Streaks. They'll break huddle. The quarterback Gabe Peterson. Step back in the shotgun. Put Rodriguez in motion and hand it off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez cuts up and gets inside the 35-yard line to the 34. Now they're going to say his knee touched at the 35, so they'll move him back, and that'll make it the third down and six. So here we go with the blue streaks once again. And timeout called by Archbold. The Archbold coaching staff or the head coach saw something he did not like because all of a sudden he just ran up and called the timeout on the far side. So another break in the action as, again, uh, the streaks have used two of their timeouts now here in this first half. Ten fifty six to go here. In the second quarter, Aces Stadium on a beautiful Friday night. And we're you know, getting ready to halftime, a first halftime show of the, of the year. Blue Streak's marching band have made the trip down from Archbold. So they, along with the Aces Pride Marching Band, will be providing some halftime entertainment for the crowd here tonight. Back into action after the timeout. Snap, Peterson drops back. He's got a bunch of guys going downfield, puts the ball up, wide open, caught on the run, and into the end zone, touchdown. Nick Rodriguez broke free, made the catch, and into the end zone. 30-plus yard touchdown reception for the Archbold Blue Streaks as they add to their lead and go up now 16 to nothing. Bedsoul back. Attempt the extra point. Rodriguez puts the ball down, kick is up, and that's going to be shy. I don't know if somebody got their hand on it or if he just didn't get enough leg in it, but it falls short of the crossbar. So the conversion fails, and the score remains 16-0. Blue streaks. 10.46 to go before halftime as the Aces will once again get ready to go on offense. And once again, see if they can put something together to get some points on the scoreboard. They want to get that goose egg off of there. Get themselves back into this game. Non-conference action again, the first three games of the season. 
are always on conference affairs for the Aces. Uh, and then they'll get into the GMC. I think that we travel to both Fairview and Tenora this year. And if I remember correctly, we wrap up the season here at home against Ayersville. I think homecoming will be hosting Antwerp this year. We'll have plenty of opportunities to run down the schedule. And like I said, home opener here tonight. And next week on the road, take on the Knights at Crestview. Nick Rodriguez getting ready to kick off to the Aces. And he puts his foot into it. Back and making the grab, Mason Camaso. Camaso breaks free. It's going to be a foot race. Rodriguez trying to catch him. Camaso is going to get down inside the 10-yard line, it looks like. He doesn't take it to the house, but he gets awful darn close. Not seeing any yellow flags on the field, so looks like we'll be counting this one. And Mason Camaso scampers all the way to the nine yard line. It was a foot race between him and Nick Rodriguez. Rodriguez finally got him inside the 10. So great field position. Let's see what Greer and company can do for it. Greer keeps the ball, powers straight forward down near the five. First and goal for the Aces. And they'll mark him on the five-yard line where it'll be second and goal. High snap. And Greer still with the ball, struggling forward, and trying to hang on to it too. I think he got down near the three. We're trying to power it down. So third and goal now from the three-yard line. And Archbold is going to take their third and final timeout. So the streaks... Looking to hold. Aces have a third and goal from the three-yard line. So Archibald might be wanting to see what they can do to preserve the shutout. 9.31 to go before halftime. And again, the Aces, their best offensive drive, and it's all courtesy of Mason Comiso, who had an awesome kickoff return. After the Blue Streaks put it into the end zone for the second time tonight. Archbold scored two touchdowns. They've had one successful conversion, one failed, and they've also kicked the field goal for their 16 points. And here come the Aces, third and goal from the three. Looking to get that zero off their side of the scoreboard. Rear working under center. Rolls out. Makes the throw, and it's a touchdown. You know, we take that back. And I think that he was, he didn't make it in. Oh, he wasn't in the end zone, okay? He was just outside. So the ball is caught. Now we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, Again, the, the ball was caught on the one-yard line to make it a fourth and goal from the one. And they hold him out. Aces come up empty. A first and goal from the nine-yard line in four plays. They come up short. And I think I see a flag on the field. So we'll wait and see what that is all about.
Nine minutes left to go before halftime. And so the penalty against Hicksville. And so that means that rather than have it right on the just outside of their end line, the Blue Streaks get to move out to the 15-yard line. First and 10. Gabe Peterson. So I'm being told it was an unsportsmanlike foul. The use of use of inappropriate profanity. So first play from scrimmage for the Blue Streaks moves the ball out to the uh, 21 yard line. It'll be second and five. Peterson puts a man in motion, hands off, and he breaks through. There's a flag thrown. He's off to the races. Nobody's catching him. That's a Gurdum into the end zone for six with an asterisk by it because there was a flag thrown on that play. So we'll see whether the play stands or not. Everybody's heading back, so it's a good sign, hopefully, for the Aces. And it's going to be a hold against the Streaks. Take it back from the spot of the foul. Take it down to the 33-yard line, where it'll be second down. Oh, I think it'll be first and 10. So still they'll get the first down but they will lose the yards. Peterson again handing off this time to number 42, Israel Reyes. And Reyes close to first down territory. We'll see whether it you know, looks like that they're going to move the chains. So it, Reyes picks up 10 and they move the chains. So fresh set of downs now for the streaks. 7.55 left to go before halftime. First and 10 on the Aces 44-yard line. Peterson keeps it this time. He cuts across first down yardage and more. He's up on the sideline and knocked out of bounds about the 32-yard line it looks like. What is shaping up to be a long night for the Aces. They're going to say he was actually knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. So first and 10, Archbold, 7.34 to go in this first half. Peterson hands it to number 25. And Gurdum rumbles down inside the 25 yard line to about the 24. It'll be second and three from the 24 yard line. Peterson drops back, 
Puts the ball in the air. Almost intercepted. Incomplete. And Langham was seeing the INT there, but not able to pull it in. But he breaks up the play enough so that it's an incompletion. It makes it third and three. Another handoff again to Gertham. And Gertham down to near the 20 yard line. That's going to bring up fourth and less than a yard. Fourth and short at the 21-yard line. They need to get to the 20 to move the chains. And they're going to go for it. Peterson, first down yardage and more. He evades one tackle, gets out down to inside the 10-yard line before they knock him down. That should be first and goal. for the blue streaks at the nine yard line. So Peterson's run gives him a first and goal. 6.03 to go here in the first half. Hands off to Gertham. Gertham straight ahead. And into the end zone. And just like that, it's going to be 22 to nothing. Archbold with uh, 5.58 to go. And at this rate, they're going to maybe run into that continuous clock type of thing uh, in the second half here, which really, really makes it tough on a team trying to come back. Field goal, the extra point attempt is good. So Bent Soul, two out of three for tonight. And that makes it 23 to nothing with 5.58 left to go here in the first half as the Aces reel in a little bit. And the Archbold Blue Streaks, at least at this point, have this game well in hand. Coach Smith is going to have a lot to talk about with his squad when they go into the halftime locker room. Aces will get ready to receive the kickoff once again. Now we'll see if Mason Comiso has got another one in him. He'll drop back deep along with Landon Turnbull. Streaks will break huddle on the other side of the field. And they'll get ready to tee it up and kick it off again. Rodriguez gets the ball set just the way he likes it. Archbold breaks huddle. Here we go. Rodriguez got a pretty good leg. And this time he's going to keep it low on the ground. It bounces up and off the chest of uh, number 82, Vaughn Graber. Graber falls on it. He's slow getting up. He got popped pretty good. Graber gets some pretty good field position, about 36-yard line. Now they're going to say 35-yard line. And that's where the Aces will set up their offensive, their offense rather, first and 10. 5.57 left in this half. Greer, quick hitter out and caught. A bit of a shake and bake move, still on his feet and nothing doing. 
Camaso tried to break free, reverse his field, and he winds up being dropped for, well, they're going to they're gonna say really no gain. He's got about a half a yard. So that's as far as he got. Then he said he reversed the field, and they took him down in the backfield. So forward progress makes it second and 10. Rear again, quick hit. It's caught. That was Van Atta making the grab eventually. And uh, picking up about seven. Make it third and three. Greer. Hand off. Nothing doing. Braden Langham tried to power it up the middle and might have got a yard. But they're going to come up short and it's going to be fourth and one. As they get to the 44 yard line. And it looks like the A's are going to need to punt it away. Not going to take a chance on leaving the blue streaks with this short of a field. So Greer will drop back to punt. Caught by Rodriguez. Rodriguez eludes one tackle. Heads up field. Gets out to about the 38-yard line when they bring him down. So Nick Rodriguez with the return. I'll say 37-yard line is where he went down officially. And that's where Archibald will take over first and 10. With 351 left here in this first half. Peterson. Looking downfield, he airs it out. Well. Vaughn Graber getting a hand on it and breaking up the play, so incomplete. That'll stop the clock on the incompletion at 344 left in the first half. And bring up second and 10 for Archbold. Man in motion for the streaks. Quick handoff to Gurdum. And Gurdum down to about the 44-yard line. Peterson with the snap, handoff. Number 42 gets first down yardage, and then some. Israel Reyes takes the ball into Aces territory. And they're going to put that one down at about the 48 yard line. It'll be first and 10, Archbold. Keeper for Peterson. Loses his footing, gets it back, and gets dropped at about the 40-yard line. But he stays inbound, so the clock keeps running. They're actually going to give him the 39-yard line, make it second and one. With 2.15. 
And the clock running here in the second quarter. Another handoff again to Reyes. Reyes dives forward and he'll move the chains. Israel Reyes takes the ball down to the 33 yard line. They'll stop long enough, the clock long enough to move the chains and, and start it right back up as we go under two minutes. And we're going to have an official timeout as we've got an ace down on the field. Couldn't see his number right away. But I think, okay, I'm being told it's 82. That would be Vaughn Graber. Doc Haggerty looking him over. Coach Smith going out to check out things as well. Aces and the streaks will huddle up. And when we get back into action, we'll have a minute 55 to go before halftime. Archbold leading the Hicksville Aces 23 to nothing. And the streaks have the ball first and 10 on the Aces 33 yard line. Get the young man up. And walk it off over towards the sideline. Holding his upper thigh. So I don't know if he took a shot or he just developed a Charlie horse. So he'll, he'll walk gingerly off the field. One fifty-five, as we mentioned, to go before halftime. Streaks with the ball. Peterson drops back in the shotgun. Hand off again to Israel Reyes, and Reyes gets down on nearly all fours and scoots underneath a bunch of defenders and hits down to about the 26-yard line, 27-yard line. As they keep moving the ball down the field, Peterson drops back now. He's airing it out again. Oh, broken up in the end zone. Intended receiver T Arena, number 84. Knocked away and a flag in the end zone. And they're going to pick up the flag. And just make it third down. Minute 14. So it must have been an inadvertent flag. Peterson rolling out. Caught. Good for the first down. Up the 15 yard line. A 109 to go in first and 10 blue streaks from the Aces 15. Gurdum with the carry. Gets down to about the 12. Air it out to the corner. And nothing doing there. Peterson drops back, rolls out, hangs on to the ball, heads towards the end zone, dives in. And 
going to say he came up a bit short. One yard line, 32 seconds, first and goal, Archbold. Looking to punch it in. Here goes Peterson, and he'll stroll in easily. Touchdown, Archbold. 29 to nothing. 21 seconds left before halftime. They're going to see if they can kick the extra point to make it a 30-point game. Kick is up and it's blocked. And that was Langham with the block. But there's a flag on the play. We'll wait for the official ruling. And that's going to be an unsportsmanlike against the Aces. So I'll get to kick it again. So they'll get a second crack at it. Kick is up. That one's good. 30 to nothing. And the streaks. 21 seconds away from going into the halftime locker room with a big lead. And the Aces in a world are hurt when the second half gets underway. So some... Words exchanged between players and coaching staff here on the Hicksville side. Aces will take the field. Get ready to receive the kick. They'll get the ball back, but they're not going to have a lot of time to work on. As the lights come on here at Aces Field. Nick Rodriguez teeing it up. And again, they'll kick it on the ground, scooped up. And out to the 45-yard line, first and 10. The Aces have 17 seconds to work with. We'll see if they're going to try to make something happen. Greer. Dropping back. Looking downfield. Puts it in the air. Caught. Mason Van Atta makes the grab and a flag thrown at the point of the reception. 11 seconds on the clock. And that'll be a face mask, and that'll be declined. And the Aces are going to... Are they going to take a timeout? Or? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they were indicating it. So they'll decline the penalty. No, they aren't going to decline the penalty. Okay. I was wondering about that. He must, have been, he must have meant something else when he was waving, like he was waving something off. So the face mask penalty at the end of the catch will move the ball down to the 18-yard line. 11 seconds before halftime. The Aces will have it first and 10, down 30 to nothing. And they really want to score to cut that margin below 30 for the second half. So Greer and company seeing if they can traverse 
18 yards in 11 seconds. Greer, and that's an errant throw, no good. His receiver went left and the ball went right. Seven seconds and second and 10. Ball stays at the 18 yard line. Aces faithful rooting on their squad, wanting to see some points scored here before halftime. Greer fires a bullet, incomplete. That'll bring up third down with four seconds left in the half. So on the third down play, Greer dropping back, rolling out, looking downfield, ball in the air, caught, but not in the end zone. And time has expired, so the pass down is, is caught by Langham, but Langham on the one yard line does not score, and time expires, and that is the end of the first half. So we've played the first 24 minutes of varsity football for the 2017 season, and the score at halftime, it's the Archbold Blue Streaks 30 and the Aces 0. We're going to take a break, but we invite you to stay tuned. Halftime entertainment, and, of course, I'll be back with all the second half play-by-play -play coming up for you right here on Hicks TV. Bye. 